My name is Rhiannon Rose, and I'm a survivor of transphobic corrective sexual violence, which is sexual violence aimed at coercing a trans person to identify with the gender that we were assigned at birth as opposed to the gender that we actually identify with. And when I first spoke out about this through well-known local activists in 2015 who shared my story on Facebook, my rapist found the post and called me a liar and started publicly telling lies about me to slander me at a time when I was really vulnerable and homeless because my family had just disowned me after beating me and throwing me into a psych ward for persisting to identify as trans. Um, I started my own activist career and and after two years I was convinced to move into a situation where I ended up being drugged with a synthetic hallucinogen 25-IMBOME repeatedly which left me with permanent partial facial blindness and permanent delusions such as for goalies delusions, Capgras delusions, and other delusions I don't even have names for, including delusions that they intentionally brainwashed me with to keep me taking the drug about Kesha and the Illuminati coming to save me and getting there faster if I kept taking the drug. And they raped me and beat me repeatedly. And I was told before this happened by one of the people living there that they were from my rapist Chelsea's family and there to hurt me. And I believe very much that that, that is what that was. That was punishment further for speaking out. And I really feel like after all this, I, I could have already said that I feel like Kesha, but especially today, I was banned from fucking Twitter because I refuse to stop using the word cisgender when I talk about my transphobic corrective rapist Chelsea, who was a cis woman. And it's not a fucking slur. It just means someone isn't trans. It doesn't have the power to oppress, clearly. If I'm gonna be silenced, that was and and that's why I feel like like so much more right now like on top of everything I really feel like Kesha right now because I'm being silenced so hard right now that was 2000 followers that I was able to speak out to when I was having a difficult time speaking out on video that was 2000 followers who were able to hear me speak out and so many more people who were able to see that through likes and retweets and views and hear me speak out. I don't get that much engagement on YouTube when I post a video anyway. Not to mention how much more difficult it is. I, I feel like Kesha. I feel silenced. I feel angry. Fuck my cisgender rapist, Chelsea. And fuck Elon Musk.